Hey everyone, this is Chef Toby Avor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cornbread dressing. This is a request that I got from one of my subscribers named C. Belinda Davis. And before we start this recipe, I'm going to answer some questions. Um, some of the ingredients, if you don't like onions, you don't like peppers, you don't like celery, you don't like sausage, you don't have to add it. You can totally, you know, change some of the ingredients as long as you have the base of the recipe, which is the dressing part. So, you'll be able to find all the amounts you'll need for this recipe that will pop up in the box in the video, as well as clicking on the description box under the video and click the link. It'll take you directly to the blog post that will have the full recipe and the directions. So, let's go ahead and start this recipe. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Please comment, please subscribe, and follow me on my social networks. You'll find all the links to that at the end of this video. Okay, here in this bowl, I have a total of um, three cups of cornmeal. This is yellow cornmeal. This is plain cornmeal. And I have here one cup of all purpose flour. And just going to give this a quick mix around to kind of combine this. To this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt and four teaspoons of baking soda. Then you add the eggs. I've already beaten them. There's two eggs. Add the buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can make your own. Just Google the recipe. So I'm just mixing this together. Now I'm going to add the melted butter. It's going to Whisk this in so smooth. I have my oven set to 450 degrees and I have a skillet that I pour about four tablespoons of oil in the bottom of it. I used just some old oil that I had fried some chicken in. Typically this recipe uses um, bacon grease to grease the pan but I'm using oil. And the pan's in the oven, and the oven is um, hot, so I'm allowing the oil to become very smoky. So I'm going to um, grab this uh, pan out of the oven, put it in for quite some time. This pan is very hot, and I'm just going to pour this cornbread batter, and you do want this to sizzle just like that. Typically, you will use a cast iron skillet, but I don't have a cast iron skillet, so I'm doing it this way. It'll still come out the same as long as you follow these directions. I'm just kind of kind of smooth this uh, cornbread mixture here. This is going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes or until golden brown on top. So the next step, um, I begin to brown. 12 ounces of um, sausage and I'm using um, sage sausage this is like the breakfast sausage that you find in the store and um, I've got this in my skillet here I just got the sausage here on medium on a medium flame I'm going to turn up a bit and just cook the sausage um, if you want to crumble it as you're cooking it um, you see it's 12 ounces you can use whatever type of sausage you want. If you want to use beef or turkey or apple sausage, choices are in there. So, um, my sausage is ready. I crumbled it as I cooked it. I'm going to put this in this bowl here. So I have here four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Start this on a medium high flame. Before this even completely melts, I have here, I have a large red pepper. This is bell pepper or sweet pepper, whatever you guys call it. And yes, it is important to use this much butter because dressing gets all this flavor from mainly the sage and the butter. I'm just going to cook this for a minute and then we're going to add the celery. So this has been going for about a minute or so, about a minute and a half. Now I'm going to add celery and I just diced up um, one stick of celery. I'm 
And I have here one medium sized white onion. And I just kind of, of course, and chopped it. I don't put raw vegetables in my dressing because I don't like how sometimes they, the raw vegetables doesn't tend to be cooked all the way through. It tends to be hard. And I like to cook my veggies because it heightens the flavor in them. It sort of sweetens them a little bit. So I'm going to cook this for about another two minutes or so just until the onions become um, tender and sort of translucent. But it's going to be a little bit past the translucent point. On my um, back burner, I'm just heating up just finished heating up um, four cups of chicken stock. My cornbread is almost done. Um, it's been in my oven now for about 35 minutes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in, before I um, put it in the oven. I had the oven preheated to like 450 degrees with the oil in the pan just so the oil gets smoky and then when I put the cornbread in the oven itself, I dropped the temperature to 400 degrees. And that's in Fahrenheit. Um, and you're just going to cook it until it's golden brown, um, until it's no longer raw. And the way you know that the cornbread is completely cooked through, just take a knife, stick it in the middle, pull it out. If it's dirty, you know it's not done. So my veggies is um, pretty much at the point where I want it to be. So I'm going to turn my flame off. And we're just going to wait for the cornbread. So um, this is my cornbread. It is dry. And this is what you want. You want it to be dry. You don't want it to be too moist. So I'm going to um, put this in the bowl. It just comes right out because of the way we uh, oil the pan. And see, this is very dry and crumbly. This is what we want. It's still hot. Just break this up with a spoon. Um, we're going to add a few things to this. The um, cooked onions, peppers, and celery. All the sausage. This is about a half a cup of sugar. I like my stuff to be a little bit sweet. I like sweet and savory. Okay, give this a quick mix around. If you're not happy with the amount of celery and onions in this, you can add more. I just add enough just so it will just give it the flavor that it needs so it's not overwhelming with onions and peppers. Okay. I'm going to add to this four tablespoons of um, unsalted butter. Okay, four tablespoons. Just about a cup of the chicken stock, just to moisten it a little bit, because we don't want to add too much liquid to this yet. I'm going to add to this about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. You can add more if you want. This depends on how much black pepper you like in your dressing. And see the nice rich color of the dressing? This is how we know that we cooked it long enough. It got a nice brown. It's nice and crumbly. This is what your dressing is supposed to look like. Tablespoons of rub sage. We're going to taste this after we combine it. See if we need to add more. Um, add to this two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to add to this... Uh, just about a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. This just gives it a little additional flavor. Okay, now that this is cooling, I can use my hands to mix this. Let's see. Just getting your hands into it and being able to combine everything thoroughly is the key when you're making dressing. Now I'm going to add to this. Um, Some more chicken stock. Just about another cup and a half. Now we're going to really let this get a little more moist. Now that we've got everything combined. I don't like to add all the chicken stock at one time. Now I'm going to add the 
our remaining chicken stock. Okay, round oregano, just a touch. This is like a quarter of a teaspoon. Round oregano is very potent. You don't want to add too much or it tastes disgusting. Your oven needs to be preheated at uh, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, between that and 400. I'm going to go with uh, 375 because I'm using a glass casserole dish. Add the eggs. This is four whole eggs that I beaten. I'm not going to cook all this dressing. I'm just going to cook half of it. Have a glass casserole dish here. You can use whatever size that you have on hand. Measurements is not specific with this. I'm just going to. More butter. Yes. This is not a dish for the food bandits, who are the health bandits, shall I say. This dressing has a lot of um, butter in it, a lot of butter. I'm just gonna pour some of this dressing in here, spread it. I don't want it to be too um, thick as far as it goes it's in depth. And just a little bit more. Okay. So this is the dressing here. It's gonna go in a preheated 375 degree to 400 degree oven, and this is gonna bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. It wants us to be brown and set. So I started to transfer the dressing into a bowl, and I just want to show you what it looks like before I plate everything. As you see, it's you know it's uh, firm but not dry, and it's easy to cut. And you get one nice size. A piece of dressing. You can see all the onions and the peppers and you can see the sausage and celery and this smells amazing. So, so here it is everyone. The dressing. And this is just some basic um, this is just some basic pan gravy that I've made. Recipe will be coming up for that soon. It will be attached with a um, turkey chops and pan gravy. I'm just mixing the gravy in. This is going to give this a nice taste. This is really delicious. This is um, one of those things that we would classify as a comfort food. Um, I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Um, I just want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and hello to all my new subscribers. Um, shout out again to Cheryl uh, Belinda Davis. Um, thank you for requesting this recipe because I haven't had stuffing for a while or dressing for a while. Um, anyhow, please rate. Give this a thumbs up, please. Subscribe, comment. Follow me on my social networks. You'll find it at the end of the video. Remember to do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thanks for watching.